The study of celestial objects by the James Webb Telescope is transforming the space industry and giving us information that we never really thought of having. Apart from looking millions of years back in time, James Webb is also enabling us to better understand our own solar system. Recently, James Webb made yet another great discovery that might change the way we see Pluto. So can this discovery actually bring Pluto back to the planet race, or is it going to reveal something insane about this planetary body? Make sure to watch till the very end to find it all out. As we already know that Pluto is a really small planet with nearly the width of 1400 miles. It is only half as big as the United States of America, and this planetary body has been the focus of scientists for years. It was considered a planet earlier, but soon, scientists found some evidence that the dwarf star behaved a little different from the usual planets in the solar system. That's the very reason why it was dropped from the list of planets in our solar system. It was declared a dwarf planet back in 2006, and we officially have eight planets in our solar system after the degradation of Pluto. As a matter of fact, Pluto is quite farther than most people know, and we were never able to have a closer and clearer look at the planet. But with James Webb and its infrared light technology, having a good look at Pluto sounds like a cakewalk. Pluto is located 3.7 billion miles away from the Sun. And that's the reason why it's a lot cooler than Earth, and any traces of life aren't found on it yet. The temperatures on this dwarf planet usually range from minus 232 to minus 387. We can't even imagine the survival of any life form in these temperatures, except for single-celled organisms, of course. Pluto was a very promising planet for the discovery of life, but because of its extreme temperatures, that seems to not be working out. Also, one day on Pluto would be about 153 hours which is way longer than a regular day on Earth. Pluto was officially discovered in 1930 even though it was observed in 1915, and scientists weren't really sure what this object was until they finally got powerful equipment to observe the dwarf planet. The planet is so far away that we didn't know a lot about the size of this planet until 2015. We only got to know about it when one of NASA's flyby missions passed by Pluto and analyzed its size and nature. The interesting thing about Pluto is that it completes its orbit around the Sun in 248 years. But do you know that for 20 years during this orbit, Pluto revolves on the orbit of Neptune? Although the dwarf planet never really collides with Neptune. Besides, it's only for the strong gravitational pull of Jupiter that Pluto still exists. Otherwise, the other planets would have already turned it to dust or have flung it out of the solar system. Jupiter's massive force of gravity keeps all the planets moving at a steady pace. According to recent discoveries, Pluto is so unstable that its only chance of survival is to continue orbiting on its current path. If the planet moves even an inch from its path, it's definitely going to be catastrophic. If we compare the earlier images of Pluto to its recently captured ones, we see that the planet is becoming redder with passing time. A few decades back, the planet had a grayish hue to it, but now, half of it is almost very dark red. Some scientists think that this dark red color is because of the environmental changes and weather. However, some believe that a toxic compound is eating the planet up and making it uninhabitable slowly and gradually. Some researchers even believe that Pluto has an ocean under its surface, which means there is still hope for life on Pluto if only the surface temperatures are controlled. Pluto also has ice on huge areas, which means if the temperatures of the planet were a little less freezing, it could have easily hosted an ocean on its surface. Another research recently showed two mounds on Pluto which looked a lot like ice volcanoes. These volcanoes are proof that there still might be flowing water under the upper surface of Pluto that's causing these volcanoes. It was also discovered recently that the temperature of the inner surfaces of Pluto is a little higher, which means flowing water under the icy surface of the dwarf planet is a huge possibility. Not only this, scientists think that these recent discoveries are proof that there's a high chance that Pluto has life under its surface, even if they're just microbes. We still can't say for sure that Pluto has life, but with James Webb, we're closer than ever to discovering whether this dwarf planet can actually host life or not. NASA recently revealed pictures from outer space that showed Pluto as a rainbow-like planet. Different colors were used to differentiate the multiple regions of Pluto and their nature. These images were taken by the aircraft New Horizon which was specifically sent to outer space, so it could observe the nature of Pluto and send back mesmerizing pictures. And we gotta say. New Horizon didn't disappoint us at all. As James Webb has already traveled billions of years, we are closer than ever to see the true nature of Pluto. 
The James Webb Telescope is well on its way to observing the Kuiper Belt and the objects near it, and with its infrared technology, James Webb could easily determine the composition, nature, and origin of these celestial bodies. We could even see the materials that are buried well under the surface of Pluto. It was impossible to determine these chemical compounds and materials before James Webb was created. We know about Pluto quite a bit, but there are hundreds of thousands of bodies in the Kuiper Belt alone that are left undiscovered. So, with James Webb out in space, scientists are hoping that they will get a sneak peek at the good stuff in the Kuiper Belt too. Not only this, we would also be examining more dwarf planets as we move forward with James Webb. NASA has already got it all figured, and they're hopeful that they're at least going to find some reliable traces of flowing water under the surface of Pluto, or any other dwarf planet. But the responsibility of discovering Pluto doesn't fall on the shoulders of James Webb alone, as another telescope in Chile is also well on its way to analyze and explore the Kuiper Belt. This telescope has the largest camera ever built, so it wouldn't be wrong to assume that we're about to see some of the most exciting things present in outer space. For now, scientists are positive about discovering new things in the Kuiper Belt and about understanding how life could exist on Pluto. The images released by NASA makes us think that were all our theories wrong about Pluto? Because the planet isn't as small as we imagined it to be. Not only this, but Pluto is also showing promising results for the presence of elements like oxygen and carbon. And these chemicals simply mean that there's a potential for life on the planet. Some conspiracy theorists even suggest that life already exists on Pluto. So what are your thoughts on it? Tell us in the comments. Also, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon to get the latest updates. We'll see you in the next video. Till then, adios from our side.